All right, we're here in Defense Grid, The Awakening. Uh, I'm doing Mission 5 out of fuel, uh, well done, doing the 10 Tower Challenge mode. Uh, this isn't really anything particularly new if you've seen the previous videos, um, because the same strategy really applies. Uh, what we've used previously still qualifies as under 10 towers, because it really is only 6 towers. Um, so there's nothing really uh, new to the challenge here. Um, you know, just like in story and story challenge, you know, you gotta time it for the um, interest, unlike uh, practice or the 10k challenge mode where you get your money up front. You can just go ahead and upgrade basically right off the bat since uh, you don't have to worry about interest. Either way, so we started off with a few machine guns there, um, two on the ridge in the top right and center, um, top left is the fire tower, bottom left is the machine gun. And you saw that little jump um, earlier, a few seconds earlier in the video, that was just me cutting out some part I had to rewind back to because uh, I messed up my build later on at one point when I was originally recording this. Well, either way, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the fire turret now, at the beginning of wave 4. That's going to help with the uh, numerous small guys that are coming through. So, yeah, sorry if you've already watched the others, and uh, although I'll hopefully I've saved you some time in letting you know that it's pretty much the same. Uh, but yeah, I know it's not kind of the most uh, interesting compared to uh, you know trying a different strategy, but this definitely seems to be the one that works the best uh, in the various modes, or at least the ones that it qualifies for. There will be some change up later in the other different modes that are going on. But yeah, um, so we're just slowly working on upgrading our machine guns to level two now, um, saving up a nice pool of resources uh, to earn interest off of. And uh, now I'm like in the middle of wave 7, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that final machine gun to uh, level 2. And kind of try to time my upgrades right so they don't lose um, any damage time. Um, basically upgrading the tower when all the aliens that it could be shooting are out of its range for the moment. Uh, but anyways. So we're just kind of barely stopping them. Um, before they get past, so I'm getting the temporal tower now. I'm going to start working on upgrading that. Let's get it to level 2 right away um, before wave 9 shows up. And that's just going to enhance our defenses overall. Look at those little fast guys now. There's another little cut there um, from when I had to rewind to this point. To make sure you upgrade the uh, temporal tower and one of those machine guns right now. I think I was uh, trying to save up too much interest. Though um, the rewind function is useful and you don't really lose anything by using it. So that's something that, you know, if you've played the game enough, you can make use of uh, to kind of push your interest to the max by figuring out. I think I've mentioned this before, but figuring out the exact point at which you need to actually upgrade something so you're not spending money too early. Um, just take some memorizing and, you know, some patience. At least you don't have to redo the entire level. <laughs> yeah, we're about to um, wrap up this level here once the bosses show up. Getting everything upgraded to level 3 now. And we got about 2500 saved up. Actually, I think we're only doing this with five towers. I know I've used six at certain points um, so far in this level in the different modes. Oh yeah. Um, pretty easily stop boss drops um, before he even really makes it to the edge of our line. And everything else falls very quickly after that. And you can see, quite enough for a gold medal. So this basically uh, satisfies the requirements. But um, that's a wrap. Thank you for watching this video.